One of the hardest parts about investing your money is being able to control your emotions. Greed and fear can tend to take over and make the best investor out there make some investment mistakes that they regret later. Now we're going into an election year and there's a lot of emotion around that obviously. And then you throw in the fact that we have, we're in a social media age as well and all that emotion gets amplified. So how can you kind of take a temperature and check yourself so that you don't make an emotional investment mistake? I have four things I always like to tell people. Number one is to make sure you get perspective. I'm in my mid 40s, I was born at the end of the Vietnam War and I've seen Reagan assassination attempts, stock market crashes, two Iraq wars and great financial crisis, tech bubble and now COVID. So a lot of things happen over the course of our lifetime and it's always good to take a step back and remember that even during all those terrible events, things kind of fix themselves and the stock market just continue to move on. So, you know, number one, get some perspective, look at the big picture and realize that even though we're always going through something negative or it feels like it, that doesn't mean we don't come out on the other side okay. The second thing is to make sure you focus on your time horizon. Uh, it can be really get it, it can be really easy to get wrapped up in what's going on right now and to make short-term investment decisions for a long-term goal. So if you're saving for retirement, for example, and that goal isn't for another 20 years that you're going to need the money, then make sure you don't get too short-term in your thinking relative to that long-term goal. Uh, thirdly. Adapt when things change. You know, we've seen in the last couple of years a lot of changes with the tax laws. And again, thinking about the election coming up, there's a lot of speculation about whether there's gonna be even more tax law changes after this. And it's really hard to predict what's gonna happen. So what we always do is we just kinda take the situation as it is. And as things change, we adapt our strategy. So in the past couple of years, we've adapted strategies for clients of ours to meet the new Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. And if it changes in a couple years due to a new political regime, then we'll have to make some additional changes. So you just wanna make sure you're flexible and adaptive to changing circumstances. And lastly, just make sure you stick to your plan. If you have a retirement plan and you know you need X amount in stocks, X amount in bonds, and you have a well-diversified portfolio, just stick with that. You don't have to make any radical changes. You don't have to rewrite the book about what your plan is. Just stick with that plan and be disciplined about how you execute it. It doesn't sound very sexy. It doesn't sound very exciting at all, particularly when everybody's yelling and screaming at each other. It feels like you, know, you have to do something. But a lot of times the best thing to do is to do nothing. Boring is beautiful. So if we can help you through any of this, if you have any questions or concerns about your investments, please give us a call. We're here to help you.